All right, people, this is gonna be a tutorial on a lion look. I did this look for Halloween. It was a last minute thing. I wasn't even gonna get ready or anything like that, but um, I was going to a friend's birthday party and uh, I was gonna do her daughter's makeup and she wants everybody to be in costume. I didn't feel like getting in costume, so I was just like, you know, let me let me just put a, let me try a lion look. I never tried that, so this is what uh, I'm going to do and I'm gonna start off with my hair I'm gonna turn it into a fro which you will see and yes <laughs> the reason I'm doing a voice recording over is because the voice timing is off so it was pretty bad but this is I just uh, blow dried my hair and sprayed and blow and sprayed and blow and it was so strong in my place that I had to open windows and doors stuck but this was supposed to be like the, oh, there's my bunny rabbit. I'm teasing it. I love my bunny rabbit. All right, so I'm gonna fast forward everything. Um, I'm using a Ben Nye um, clown, uh, like cream product or whatever you wanna call it. Um, so I'm just putting that on my face. I found out a way to uh, to put it on without have it cracking. You know, some of this shit, it starts to crack and looks like crap, but that's gonna be my little secret. It took me forever to find out how to do this or whatever have you and I'm not going to give it away and I'm just taking still pictures because half the time you're not going to be able to see what the hell I'm doing because I can't do this shit facing the camera um, itself on my computer screen it's too hard so I brought a mirror to the room and uh, that's why you see me off to the side uh, doing my makeup like this but I'm using a BH palette and I'm using like the uh, natural colors, the browns and, you know, tans or whatever have you. There's another still. And um, I'm looking at different uh, pictures. I'm looking at actual realistic lion pictures. I'm also looking at lion paintings that people have painted. And I looked up a few um, lion face paints uh, that a couple of people did on their face. And I'm just trying to like do my own thing, but get inspiration from everything. So there's another, I mean, you can see the, the shadowing where I'm going darker and lighter, what have you. And uh, I'm this whole time, entire time, I'm using one brush to do this. I'm not using multiple brushes. I mean, for the white, I did use a different, it was just a brush from Michael's Crafts I bought. Uh, and for this this shadowing, I'm using a MAC brush. Um, it's a smaller one than the blush brush. I don't know the number, and I'm not going to go get the number to tell you. Just use whatever brush you think is necessary. You, you don't need a whole set of, uh, you know, expensive brush. Just go to Michael's Crafts, get some brushes, cheap shit. It works all the same. It's just about blending. And let's see what I'm doing here. Now I'm adding uh, black shadow to my nose. And this one, excuse me, it's late. This one here, I think I switched the brush. I did because it's a smaller uh, MAC brush. I didn't want to get black on the other brush I was using for the browns because um, once black is on a brush, it's kind of a pain in the ass to, to get it off. So I grabbed a different brush for the black. Here I'm using another smaller brush to do the, uh, excuse me, oh my gosh, the nose. I'm using a Ben Nye product called, um, is it cake? Something cake or other. And uh, what you do is you wet it. You could use water. They also have a, uh, a liquid you can buy. It's like a it's like a gluish type thing. I don't like using that only because it, it starts to make the black crack once it sets. So I just use water and you can see it just it goes on 
really thick. I don't like using uh, eyeliner. Uh, it smudges. This shit don't smudge. I don't like using liquid eyeliner because that also cracks as well. And you can use eyeshadow, regular black eyeshadow, and just wet your brush and really um, pick up that black eyeshadow with it and... You know, uh, it's kind of like when you when you go to Home Depot and buy paint. If you get if you ever get a black paint, it don't matter what kind, just the regular black paint. They have options where you have like soft, um, uh, like a flat or a satin. When you use that same black paint and you try the different textures, it's crazy because like the soft will look like a light black, but if you get like a satin finish, it looks like a jet black. But it's the same paint color so that's really neat but this is kind of the same same thing here and for my eyes I'm just using the same cake shit a smaller detailing brush um, <clears throat> I think that's another Mac brush but again you can use a uh, oh shit that might not be a Mac brush I don't know but um, I have like gazillions of brushes I stopped buying makeup and brushes a long time ago because you just don't once you have a bunch you don't need any more shit and I'm just adding dots to my face um, and I didn't cover my eyebrows. I mean, you could cover them with, uh, you know, the glue stick thing or with uh, actual putty, if you whatever it's called. But I just left them. Oh, my God. Excuse me. And I'm adding the same uh, cake shit to my lips. You can use black lipstick. I just, it tends to bleed, so I don't, I don't use that. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention when I first, before I first put on anything, I used a, um, what's called a, what the hell is it called? A no sweat preparation shit. It's a liquid you put on your face. It makes, basically, it's for performing arts, like if someone that's in theater or like, uh, performs. It's to keep the makeup on when you sweat so it doesn't like run or drip or whatever have you. I think what it does is actually it seals your pores. I'm pretty sure. What I meant uh, is it, don't it work. does work. It, you don't sweat. I mean, you'll sweat on top of your head or what have you, but your face you won't uh, perspire. Is it perspire? Like under your nose or whatever have you. So you could just see that I'm adding uh, little details. Um, what am I doing? Oh, I'm adding more orange, like an orangish color to my face. That right there is just a paintbrush I got at Michaels. And I'm using, excuse me, I think I'm adding white now. The white I use is actually acrylic paint. You know, people say that you're not supposed to use acrylic paint on your face, but I have, uh, you know, so much makeup on my face that that paint is not going to penetrate, you know, through that makeup onto the skin. So, and I dilute it with water as well. So it's, and I keep it away from like, you know, I don't get too close to my eyes. I don't put it on my mouth. Uh, Cause it is toxic, but I mean, if you get paint on your hands, it's gonna be okay on your face. It's just they, they do, they give you warnings so that way it's like someone that has sensitive skin, they don't break out in a rash or whatever have you. Or if you get in your eye, I mean, that shit's not good for you. But again, people are sensitive to a certain type of makeup, so it's kind of basically the same thing. I've used paint on um, the Day of the Dead look that I did for uh, my friend, and here you can see the finish. Um, look here I put in one ear because I was debating if I should put the stuffed animal ear in my head to make it look like lion ears but in the end I took them off but this is the final look and yeah I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you all had a happy Halloween and oh and then I right before um, I left I put a sealant on I forget what the hell it's called. It's a bottle that's like 20 bucks. It basically seals your makeup on so nothing is coming off. It's stuck there for life.